talking in general. Like, I have a hard time coming up with things to say or responses to people's questions of me, like, mm -hmm. moment to moment. I think it's because I never really trained at that at all. You know, because... Why, why would I do that? <laughs> yeah. I just, I would just, you know, didn't have that, um, that kind of experience. And instead, I've been educated in, like, the natural sciences and applied science and engineering and all that. And it turns out that, like, a whole lot of that shit is, does not make for good conversation. Like, it, even it, a little. It doesn't. Although, I got to talk last night in a talking time about, the, with people as like a it's just an interesting thing to say about how the moon was formed so there's something about that maybe you got to stick to the popular sciences kaz not the not the engineering i know right <laughs> like i got to i got to get it on on them like sexy trendy sciences and yeah. then i can be <laughs> like the how the moon Tyson. like how the moon formed uh, thanks for the sub many bot it's also like a lot of the things i at least at one point in my life was an expert at are very hard to textually describe because it relies on diagrams and like complex equations involving multiple Greek characters. It's like, okay. All right, so we're, we're just going in this hole, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you should. I mean, you might want to like heal up before doing it. It's okay. full of dangerous monsters. Or oh, am I beat up? I don't I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of beat, beat up. How many cottages do I have? 15? Let's use one. Yeah using our items. I love it. Do you, do you happen to know how the moon was formed? Or the, the leading theory as to why the moon was formed, I should say. I, th I thought it was like a blasted off chunk of Earth. It was. It was a early Earth period, young sol uh, solar history impact event. Uh, when, the, when the Earth was still young. Hmm. It got but struck kind of like, by something. I, I've, heard, I've heard some of that shit before. Like, for instance, the um, the new Bill Nye episode about the panspermia hypothesis mm. where the hypothesis goes that like life first started on Earth because like a rock that had like the good DNA stuff or something on it uh, hit here. Earth. And I... I'm like okay well that's just kicking the can down the road isn't it? Yeah where did it come from right? if it didn't come from there? Because it's not like <laughs> it's not like magic space rocks is a better explanation than any other one that we have. Now, I'm not trying to like rob the hypothesis of its of its weight or merit or anything. I just you gotta ask what somebody. About the, what, yeah. Or what about the special space rock? Well, it's rocks all the way down, Kaz. <laughs> <sighs> okay, maybe correctly yeah. identifying that dark tree is weak to fire. Perhaps. Perhaps. Um, you know, they, they come along with a monster who is, uh, a, who absorbs fire, I'm pretty sure. Uh, mine is thrown out of but, uh, yeah, it takes yeah, another thing that I think, another thing I think we're learning here is that, uh, fights in this cave suck. Like, you got Toad Lady and she's kind of charming, but the, the rest are, like, huge pains in the ass. Yeah, I should consider running. Yeah, somebody went back in time. Oh, I attacked with Lydia on accident. Well, it worked. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we, somebody went back to make a closed loop. Somebody went back and just created the sperm rock. Yep. Now, I like that as an idea because I, I actually like time travel stories. But I have met people who do not. You now, gotta, you gotta do them right. You gotta know when to give up and stop explaining things with time travel stories. I think. Yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of ways to do it. I think. Um, with, uh, I, I like the ones that are lighthearted. Yes. They're just sort of like, you know, like um, Roswell that ends well from Futurama or the entirety of Chrono Trigger, or it's just sort of like they kind of like wink to the camera and it's like, okay, you know. Okay, this goof. <laughs> Yeah, and, and then you just have good goofs. Okay. I mean, I goofed by casting Float on just Cecil rather than all casting it. <laughs> oh. Well, that's that's 8 MP. Yep, I destroyed it. Okay. Okay, um, let's uh get treasure. That's important. Yeah. I'm going to run from fights. You like the treasure. 
Gotta run from things, but not from Toad Lady. Not from Toad Lady. This fight is kind of free. Toad. Toad Cecil again. No, Toad Tain again, please. Uh, the Mud Toad failed. Can I? Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, I only have four heals. That seems like a problem. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to go get some at some point. I can always re-toad my toad. I should, no, I should toad Toad Lady. That's right. We solved this. <laughs> If you toad toad lady, then the toads will not obey her. The toad has a long casting time. Toad broke my ears. Okay, then toad tame. Why is there so much charm in, in this of all fights? It... It, it failed. I failed to untoad Cecil. I wonder if I could pig one of them. I could probably just chop you now. That that won't stop them from being toaded, I'm afraid. One can be both pig and toad. I meant toad lady. Oh. Can can toad lady uh I don't know. Command the piggy. toads while she's piggy. I I think we should experiment about that, but perhaps uh perhaps next time. My toad is failing. Oh well, my god. She toted she toted herself. It's, it's her lifelong dream. Yeah. I guess I'll <laughs> chop her. <laughs> she just she just she, she chose it. This encounter just keeps on giving. Oh, she retoted herself. Okay. Okay, chop her, Cecil. I'm sad I can't jump as a toad. That seems like a thing to. Okay, <laughs> she had the right idea at the end. I still got a thousand exps. I know, right? Uh, magic. Lydia. Lydia has psych, and thus I should use toad instead of, like, heal. I often consider cowardice. I am in most ways a coward, but I don't find that a bad thing. Really, a fact of life. How comfortable is our society in which we are mostly allowed to be cowards without uh, without a bad thing happening to us? I'd, I'd say that's the goal, right? Yeah. Like if you if you live in in such a life that like constant courage and vigilance is needed, that life kind of sucks. It does sound very tiresome. I can go. Over. I'm gonna have to cast Floyd anyway, so I might as well just do it now. Yeah. So we were here last week. Yeah, we, and we got beat up by mostly, trees and killed by something. Right. Mostly at my goading, I think. <laughs> okay, triple ghost. <laughs> I think I can deal with. Okay. You don't have to goad me much for treasure. I saw the treasure once, and then I wanted it. I'm so... I don't even need to do anything. I'm just gonna chop you. You're so weak that I don't care about you. Give me this fight. The toad fight takes less time than this. Just ghosts? Just ghosts. Whose ghosts, I wonder? My ghosts. But anyway, like, Toad Lady is such an inspiration of a battle. I, I can't get enough. Like, but... She's a monster that has dialogue. When does that happen? Oh man, the ghosts are worth 2,000 exps. That's a lot. The strength of Cecil's MP. Yeah, I, I think that the model for getting you here, like, never truly form formulated in the plot. Um, there's, there's some elements to the game that make me think it got some significant rewrites. And this area is one of the casualties, I think. I'd believe that. That happens to a lot of games. 
Yeah. Like, uh, Dark Souls. What's, what's less often, I think, is that we see the, like... We get to see the remainders, the, the stuff left behind by those plot changes. Yeah, the and the craft. Yeah. Love it. I love old video games that have cruft, where they tried their hardest to squeeze their cool ideas into like the smallest space possible to actually like fit on the dang cart and everything, and they had to get really like. We don't know fight. We don't fight Malbo. <laughs> <Their solution. laughs> yeah. I watched a really well, good initially video. planned for the NES. That's wild. There is a an NES bootleg of this game, though. There were NES bootlegs of a lot of games. Have you ever seen the Super Mario World bootleg? For, no. uh, for, for the NES? I, now, I've played So Mari, which is also kind of buck wild so, as a thing. So Mari <laughs> is pretty buck wild. <laughs> it's like So Mari, but it's different. Hmm. Like this, it had Yoshi in it, and like some wild screen shit would happen. Okay, four ghosts. Yeah. We can do four mm -hmm. ghosts, even a back attack four mm -hmm. ghosts. Five ghosts doesn't have time for this. Yeah, uh, getting back to why I love Toad Lady so much. Um, it's I, I think that every fight, it, maybe not like every fight in a JRPG, but like way more of them should be like that, where the, the monster expresses a character and is charming. It does stuff. And like, you know immediately what she's about. It's obvious from her name and what she looks like. And she even color matches her chosen toads. She does, she does color match the toads. Sounds like to me we need to find like a dating profile somewhere or something. <laughs> that you hooked up with Toad Lady. Can we put a newspaper out. Man seeking just, Toad you know, Lady. Just imagine, imagine the stereotypical cat lady, but with toads in, instead, and, and there you have it. Final Fantasy enemy dating website. Yeah, that could that could be a smidge of entertainment. Sleep! Counterattack magic with sleep. Interesting. It might have specifically been counterattack, I guess, call with sleep, too. It could be. Mm, somebody got a level. <laughs> somebody got a level, but it's not telling us who. Okay, this is about how far we got last time before we got Malboed. Mm, first strike, yes. Mobile can be pretty dangerous. Not as dangerous as in Final Fantasy VI, I think, but... Hey, come to think, we don't have Malboros in V, do we? Uh, no. Not that I can think it's... of. There's not a lot of monsters that inflict weird stat. You get, like, poison. Okay. So that that special tile is a warp. Does it make a time noise? You've seen them. This goes, you're just warped. Yeah, you... yeah, off you go. I think this is where we died. Oh, yeah. I don't think we can escape from these, so just bring out the big guns and. I hope they don't breath anyone important. Okay, so. This is gonna uh, work this out. This might be where we start using ninja magic too. Yeah, uh, should I summon Jin? Jin would be the best, I think. Let's Jin up some damage. Either Jin or Titan. Yeah, that does not function because Season's confused. Ugh. Well, I mean, it doesn't function because he's coded. <laughs> <laughs> the dead dude! Should probably take out the trees now that they've, uh... Okay, I guess I'm okay. jumping on a Malbo anyways. Uh, ninja! Ninja Flame! <laughs> okay, what should I use, actually? I don't know what they're weak to, so I would just go with Flame. I 
Hanging on. I think that puts HP leak status on. Yeah, that's why I was uh, gonna cure up a, a cure three. Yeah. Okay, they they're probably dead, so Cecil just gets to be on his toad back for this one. Well, that kinda sucked. Pretty tough. Right, learned wall. Yes, we had done that. Full moon. Yes. So we got a ninja boomerang. Now can I middle and boomerang? You can. It is permitted. It is permitted. Swoon. Uh, how many... I have seven lives. I will conserve the... MP. Man, he keeps the all of the statuses through being dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of want, like, a, a picture of Mini Pig Toad. I think it would be cute. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just ghosts? Six this ghosts. one's fine. Six ghosts I'm exactly fine with. Like, uh, our ninja might be beat up a little bit. I should try to remember his name now that I've renamed him. Oh. Do, do you want a, rem a reminder? I'm trying to remember. And we'll see if, uh... Okay. They're flaming the hell out of them. His name is. I don't remember. Like Edge or something like that. I don't know. It, it's exactly Edge. <laughs> <laughs> that was my guess. I literally didn't know. <laughs> Edge. <laughs> I hate that game. It's got good sound effects, though. Sound effect is good. Uh-oh. Are they undead? No. Ghosts. All right, they're, they're ghosts, not undead. Not, ghosts not undead. I probably should have thought of that. But I just said, I'm going to use these easy enemies to get some MP back. That was the entirety of my reasoning. <laughs> I didn't go beyond that. Well, it, uh, it, it worked. It did now work. We, we go with results. Probably could have gotten a little bit more MP back. Yeah. Sleep! All is forgotten. Their sleep really sucks. Oh, maybe that's not a counterattack. Maybe that's just a move they can decide part to do. of their cycle. Okay, I'm gonna see. It looks so cool in this game. Yeah, it I looks it. very cool, but I'm I'm thinking this is about the point in the game where level two magic is no longer worth using. Yeah, pretty much. Like our MP pool is getting kind of big. I remember these treasures being pretty good. Moon ring is good. And we'll see what else we get. I think the top row is all elixirs. Can I jump before the, the thing? That's, like, strictly better than the first one. That was two of these and two trees. I don't think I really appreciate that the heal ability also removes Confuse. That would not happen in Final Fantasy V. 20 MP, huh? Or... They're giving me heals. I should use them. And they're cheap. I'll yeah. buy some later. Uh, pretty much anything in the entire game that, like in the original game anyway, um, that was a curative item that healed a status just got changed. Oh shit! To uh, I'm virusing Cecil on accident. <laughs> Sorry, Cecil. <laughs> really, uh... My uh, my D-pad hmm. went right instead of down. Mm. 
<laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> Oh no, Cecil! I missed! I missed! Get out of the way! Pretty costly, actually. Yeah, he still gets the XP this time, though. Avenger! Ooh! Okay, Avenger Sword is an interesting one. It's, um, it's a two-handed weapon. I'm pretty sure. So if you remove your your diamond, you'll be able to equip it. And I think it makes Cecil a berserker. Hmm. We'll try it out. Although maybe I'll do this this if I'm going to try it out. There we go. Because <laughs> I'm going to be yeah. fighting a monster in a box. Yeah. Good, good move. Good good choice. And if. If I was just doing this on my own, I would probably try it out on a weak encounter that I knew was weak, but we're going to be exciting and do it to yeah. probably six ghosts. Thrill house. Thrill house. Six ghosts. Yep, he's Berserker. Nice. Oh my god, can we... Can we cap Berserk on him? Can we make him double Berserk? Ooh. Okay, we'll see. We'll, we'll also be able to measure if that, like, does more. He did so much damage, I think he's already Berserk. Yeah. Because he did 1700 to a thing in the back row. So I think he did 1700. It was 13. Oh, okay, I didn't... okay, yeah, we'd failed, so he's already berserked. Oh, nice. Good to learn that now before we, like, try it. Jeez, dude. He's pretty, he's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, it makes him fast, too. Like, what if, what if berserkers are great? I do like <laughs> berserkers. I'm only going to have time for one psych. See, that one did There's 17. There's your 17. Damn! Good aiming. Okay. Now, I probably want him to be able to act if I'm fighting Malbos. Okay, Malbos. so here's... Here's my here's my galaxy brain suggestion. Mm -hmm. You give him his give him his equipment that he had before, right? Whatever it was, uh, Overax, I guess. And we'll give him the shield too. And we have him equip the Avenger Sword in combat. Yeah, we'll see what that does. Yeah, I wanna I wanna see what the what transpires. I think what will happen is he will have the attack power of the Avenger Sword without either being Berserked or having the Berserk status. Now, these creatures I have not seen before, although the centipedes are typically horrifying enemies. Oh, and I oh. think we can put... He is instantly oh. went he instantly began fighting. Oh, nice. The sword overtook his will. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, who should uh, I... I think we could have equipped the... Um... I think we could have equipped a shield there too, because of this the system is so jank. Uh throw the myth dragon at it. It's like no no need to go overboard. I think these guys most powerful attack. Oh is, they they died um, to a jump. Okay. They're dead. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> I think their most powerful attack is uh a, a, a like earthquake. Yeah. Which we're already immune oh, to. Oh, we're earthquake. immune to where we are immune to Earthshaker. Yeah. That's why I was kinda ticking out the stops, because I presumed they were going to Earthshaker me, but I forgot we were floating. <laughs> Don't know why Centipede's Earthshake. It really doesn't make that much sense. Yeah, I have. I, I don't know where that idea came from, but you know, whatever. Where does any of this shit come from? There are actually factual answers for a lot of that, though, <laughs> for being honest. Probably some kind of folklore thing. 
Yeah, it's like folklore or Dungeons and Dragons or various religions or real world history, that kind of stuff. I know Japan has some very spooky looking centipedes, and that probably has led to them have some folklore about them. Yeah. They're very so like, big uh, and very uh, evil looking. There, there's like a, a magic catfish that causes earthquakes or something. Mm -hmm. I believe the, the catfish is sleeping, and whenever it wakes up, it causes earthquakes. Mm. Yeah, the thing that Namazu were made uh -huh. after. Dang! Blasted. They, they, like, they might have party died to Shiva now that we have more levels. That's bonkers. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. I want you to be able to chop. And the question becomes, do I want Ice Brand or Ogre? Or do I want Ogre? I think Ogre is fine for now. Or we're no longer in a place where we're confident of like enemy weaknesses. Don't fight Malbos. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, oh no. Hell super freeze. At least the creeps the, the party members that get <laughs> the toad run away. <laughs> <laughs> ones, the ones that get juiced uh, are not that threatening to the party. They're just worthless until you use a heal on them. Yeah. This, using, this dungeon has, for one thing, really tapped out how many Cure 2s we had. We had accumulated a lot of them, and now we have seven. Yeah, briefly, the, the HUD didn't update, so I was, uh... Oh. Yep, and that's one of the exits. So there's a different path through there that will get us even more. Okay, I'm gonna Might go restock. Go... Yeah. There's a town like here-ish. Yeah. This place with the purple right. dwarves that say the wrong thing. Wait. That's gross. Yeah, dwarves, as we know, hate being outside. They do. They get grumpy. They don't, they don't like to be rained on either. It's number one cause of dwarf sadness in the it, fort that you've got going. It, it really is. It, it, not only in my fortress, all fortresses. Number one cause of sadness <laughs> is getting rained on. Just because a lot of places it rains all the time. And the more a dwarf gets rained on, the worse they'll start reacting to it. Like, you'll start seeing... First it starts with Grouchy. You can be okay being Grouchy in the rain. But then you get like is is depressed dwelling upon being rained on like every day <laughs> in and out I go out in the fucking rain <laughs> like ah uh, so cute let's go buy a set of heels and that's probably good enough hmm. yeah, yeah look we've got a. I think if you sort, they'll they'll stack themselves up. Yeah. Oh, we've got some Cure threes even. Actually, look how it sorted this. It put Cure three and Cure uh, one down here, and then Cure two up here. I I could not begin to explain what how the sort order does its thing. <laughs> That's why I kind of like fortresses and. Or fortress that are in like savannas where it's just not going to rain that much. Okay, so at some point in this dungeon, we have to uh, choose a different direction to go. Okay. This time I'm all healed up. We've gotten some levels from the fighting the monsters that are not yeah, mal that are not mal yeah there's treasure over there I can see it we're, we're catching up you know I just yeah. didn't, I just didn't go here last time I didn't see it correct <laughs> well I mean it's it's actually impossible to like take both paths through this in one go so that's not it's not actually bad. Thanks for the thanks for the subgens. 
Oh boy, a cool S. Yeah. Thank you for the sub. Hmm, but if we're floating above the save point, how can we save? Oh, it extends oh, up to the ceiling. Field. It's a cone. It's, it's a special field. Yeah, yeah. Or a cylinder, I should say. One of those um, upside down wedding cakes of like airspace. Okay, Toad Lady, we can deal with. It's Toad Lady. A little sad that <laughs> the Cecil isn't preserved, but, you know. Chesto went okay. Not all the encounters. Actually, the first encounter that we got in was basically the worst. Yeah, the uh, Malbo 2 Tree one. Yeah. Mandatory Malbo 2 Tree. Like, that's, that's too much. Oh, right! I think we meant to attempt to, to piggy her at some point, and we can do that with the change rod that's in our inventory, so we don't have to spend MP on the attack. I can tote her, though, so we'll do that at some other point. Oh, okay. What are you, what are you looking around the inventory for? Uh, just save... Uh, I probably have enough MPs now that I can just cast heal. I've, I've disarmed the fight now. Because her, her toad command she does not work while she is toted. I can just kind of, like, kill her at my leisure. Although I can... I'm gonna have to take the bow off. Take the change. No, change is a staff, not a rod. I'm sorry, it's a rod, not a staff. Ah, okay. So, so it's gotta be. Rosa gotta... can't use it. When I think of change rod, I think of like heal rod, you know? Yeah. Not actually yeah, rod. And that's, that's my fault. I called it a staff. If I kill the last Toad, she'll start casting Toad, which she can do whilst a Toad. Although maybe she'll do it to Cecil. Oh! Did you see her briefly flash as a human while yeah. she was casting Toad? <laughs> she might run away. I have a Charm Staff. I don't think I have a Change Staff. Oh no! Did we get rid of it? We, we might have gotten we, rid of it. We got rid of it. Okay, well... Had to get her mischief off, I guess. At least we get Toad victory. The sweetest kind of victory. Toad. And the rewards for Toad Lady kind of suck, actually. Oh, I, if if that's the case, then we can we can start running from Toad Lady too. I I don't love the encounter so much that I'm gonna force you to do it every single time. <laughs> We don't mess with Malbos. Malbos are like mean. So I could go down there or I could go up. Yeah, the economy of float kind of provides us the incentive to explore as much of this floor as possible before changing floors. Mm. Ooh, a side passage. When I was a kid, I always thought this kind of thing was like a tunnel that you crawled through. Uh, elven bow. Why, that's bound to be better than archer bow. It's bow crafted by the elves. It is four points better. Yeah. Slight improvement. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> you see, like, elven equipment in these games a fair amount. You very rarely see elves. Yeah. Like, they're, they're I, the I only think they've happened before, but I, they're not often. The o only elf in this game is the dark elf. Yeah. He's like one elf. And he's not even an elf. He's like some kind of fucked up Gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> he, looks, he looks like a Gremlins too. Like yeah, but that new batch. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a very long time. I didn't like it when I was a kid somehow because I really liked Gremlins and Gremlins Two 
Wasn't the part of Gremlins I liked. Why well, the Gremlins 2 is a very good movie. Because it's, it's a good spite movie. Joe Dante did not want to make <laughs> Gremlins 2. Mm. Ah, oh no! Oh! Can we deal? The sixth Tiny Terror encounter is, uh... They, they start doing opposite work yeah, at some point. Because they should but... begin casting Toad on people they've previously toted. Yeah, like that. Right. So, out of six casts of Toad, one Toad. We should go after the Toad Lady! You can see all the... Like, the slowness of the game moving. This makes you think of, like... The Toads all taking their independent action. Okay, now the yeah, we've won! Thinking really hard. Now, what yeah. do the Toads do when they're bereft of their Toad Lady? They, they do nothing. They just sit there. <laughs> I want this to be like the Toad Slayer bow or something, you know? Or perhaps the Toad Whip. The anti Toad Whip. Uh, the the, the anti Toad Whip. I know they're guarding. The I don't want it to yeah, fall the, to anyone's hands. Or maybe like it's a Toad Tongue. And it's a whip. That's why they're guarding it. They're guarding their dead. Dang, they must be weak to ice. Yeah, I believe they are. Plus, I'm pretty sure you have, like, negative defense when you're a toad. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go, ice. Okay. Hmm. Mute knife! It, in a fashion, or after a fashion, is the, uh... the anti-toad lady. It is. Also, just an upgrade. Your knife is better than middle. That's Good Toad to City. <laughs> if we built this city. <laughs> we built this city on top of Toads. <laughs> That's stupid. But I like it. <laughs> Three mobiles? Unacceptable. Now, yeah, see. Okay, which one should I go? does not do opposite work. Uh, let's go with this one first. I know that if they, if at least if they double bad breath, they should undo the first toad, but they'll still have every other thing. Yeah, it'll still be like, I think it'll, no, I don't think it even undoes mini, actually. And hell, it might not undo the toad, because it's not it, specifically toad spell. That's, that's probably it. Okay, ghosts, even though we are surprised by the ghosts. I have a feeling I would be surprised by ghosts if I encountered one. Like, pretty sure. I think, yeah, it would be pretty surprising to surprise, be surprised by ghosts. Unless I had been doing something that I knew would make the ghosts upset, then I'd probably mm. be anticipating them. Actually, that's probably false. It'd be, it'd be like, uh, poltergeist or something, where I'm clearly doing something sacrilegious. And, uh, then I'm surprised by the ghosts. <laughs> yeah, that, that's sort of the classic thing, right? Like, unless it's, um, specifically for parody, all horror movies take place in a universe where no horror movies exist. Mm, except for the ones that, yeah, specifically ape off of, um... Right, even if right. Par par uh, hmm. It's all kind the of a... This bizarre fine line between how much of that do you include in your, in your movie. That ah, was... those arrows are lit! Yeah, I was gonna make that same fucking joke! Okay, good! Yeah! Good joke. Make now... it! They're lit! And now we can ice up. Yeah, even more ammunition. We had like 60 or something? No, we had like 44, and I was like, I don't think we're going to even shoot that many times with Rosa across the whole game. <laughs> we have been shooting a lot in this dungeon. Yeah. Maybe that's a reason to use uh, 
different ammunition just to get them out of my inventory if I'm going to be shooting. Like sure. Well, well our lightning the ice goes. actually incidentally hits weaknesses in this dungeon, so that's true. That's really good. I mean, she was posting numbers over a thousand. Against that's, toads. That's <laughs> but well, yes. but like, yeah, but your like other mainline fighters were doing eight hundred. Like, <laughs> I prefer, it's got to be the elven bow. Yeah, you, you take too long. Sorry, Toad Lady. Yeah. We have we have fought Toad Lady quite a bit. I'll that fight Double Toad. Toad Lady got reinvented in Final Fantasy V as the like. The Enchanter and the and the the monster that starts life as a toad, but is actually like a bio soldier or a red dragon or something. Yeah, I love that fight because the ace thing to do is to untoad the toad, and then she will retoad it for you. <laughs> so it's like, okay, untoad it. It's a red dragon. Uh and then she casts Awaken, my dear, or whatever, and then she turns it back into a toad. Yeah, also, the if you do encounter specifically the red dragon, uh, they are heavy, and it will be heavy in toad form. But still weak to ice in toad form, so if you do the trick, you can then, like, completely blast it. Oh, shit, I thought I cast that magic in this floor, but I didn't. There's a, there's a pretty direct reminder. Yeah. It'd be worse if they didn't. Like, you just took the damage with no indicator. Oh, yeah. They just silently took a bunch of damage or status that's, effects. That's like a wizard oh, game would do that. Sneaky status effects would be, like, kind of rude. But if the game is built around that, then... I don't know. All that really means is, like, you're forcing the player to constantly check their status screen. So maybe that actually blows. Like, thinking that to its logical conclusion, I've just, you know... I've forced players to, like, engineer the fun out of the game. So, there, I, I like it when it's like a one-time gag type of thing. Like, there's a part in Undertale where a, a dog puts something in your inventory and you try to get rid of it, and if you check your inventory later, it'll be, he snuck it back in when you weren't looking. Dragon Age did that? Like, if you stole from enough people? There was like a punishment item that jumped into your inventory and couldn't be removed, and like the super limited inventory space in that game made that a real punishment. Yeah, well, that game sucks. The, uh, although I'll still always fondly remember the part where you can see Alistair in the gutter, <laughs> personally ruined, because he would not accept uh, the, the dickhead as a warden. Which shows you just how much of a dickhead. Yeah. Uh, I think it would have been a far stronger game if uh, the like cast of, of player characters had different personalities instead of like all subtle, almost invisible changes on the same personality. If they weren't all like smarmy little snappy Josh just... Whedon dialoguers, right? And then that's why I liked Sten because Sten had a personality. His personality was that. He was from a different culture and hated your culture. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he would he would chip in too. The only reason I kind of like Sten is that he got along with Mitten. He did. And the dog is perfect too. The dog, the dog is perfect. <laughs> That's the other good thing about the game, is you can mod the game files to allow <laughs> allow your dog to become a wizard. <laughs> and that's like, yeah. the, and then that's fucking great seeing your dog cast fireball. <laughs> <laughs> God, the dog is, is part of all of my favorite parts of that game. It's like yeah. the, the part where there is like glitched crunching. <laughs> and it's just just get crunching. One dwarf seeking to be executed for his crimes, and a dog who could be a wizard. Yeah, Logan. Wow, humans. Wow. I'm robbing you. Uh, so this is kind of cute. It's the equipment that Yang had when he died. And if you if you de-equipped them, those would be empty. Uh, you said he died, but uh, he appears not to have. Yeah, he's he's right here, actually. He, he made it. Do you want me to tell your wife anything, Jack, uh, Jack? Like, I could tell Jack's wife something if you want. I'm good. Uh, he's, he's not responsive, though. We Probably have to do something about that. 
And that's the other path through. You've got the stuff. I should sort my inventory. Yeah, Yang is apparently one hard man to kill. <laughs> that, uh, that's swallowed by the ocean, blown up in a super cannon room. Okay, right, so we got that treasure. Uh, do I, need... I could go in. Uh, any other... Uh, where, where to next, Kaz? Next. We want to go to, after you heal up and sell the cat claw and so on, we want to go to the tiny little pit island that has a cave in it. Mm. So we're going to kill a knight. Maybe. It's also going to be full of dangerous monsters. Um, if you happen across a conjurer, I kind of want to see what it summons, and we can pull the same trick that we did last time, where we steal its tear rod and then use it to commit crimes. Here's a question. You have a cure rod in your inventory already. It ruins the trick, right? Right. Can you throw your cure rod and then steal a new one? Sadly, cure rod is not a throwable item, or else I think that would be the trick. See, I would love throwing my cure rod. <laughs> it's like, eh! <laughs> and then you could, uh, you know, it back. you can do that in Final Fantasy VI, but uh, the one time I tried it, it didn't have the result that I wanted or expected. It yeah. just murdered my own people. <laughs> By throwing your cure rod? Oh, did you throw your cure rod at your own party? Yeah. I would. I would have tried throwing it at a monster. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I was in the Final Fantasy V mindset, you know. I can sell my middles. Last. I could just sell these to free up space. Don't put your bows, like, get rid of all, too, because I only really want Rosie using bows. I can sell my charm. I'll keep the Medusas as my backup arrows. Presumably they have a petrified chance. You know, I actually have no idea if they do. <laughs> Well, Medusa did use a bow, but she didn't yeah. petrify people with it. She petrified them with her face. Her bow just kind of shot you. It's kind of weird she would use two weapons that both required line of sight. Because you think if she could see you to shoot you, she could mm. also just see you to turn you into rocks. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta go back to mythical times and coach Medusa on what we know about MMO tactics from uh, nowadays. Yeah. So this one? Yeah. yeah. So this one leads all the way to hell. I should save outside of here. I'll save myself the two the twenty seconds and when I die. Yeah, sweet. So once again, we have like a bunch of damage floors. So we can use the same trick that we used in the Sylvan Cave. I think the music is different. Uh, I came here on my way from the land of Mon. How did you get by here without being able to cast flute? She just toughed it out. Uh... She's not afraid of fire anymore, you see. I think she is incapable of that, though. <laughs> Conjurer. Conjurer. Oh, man, and he starts the fight alone, so he goes immediately into... Imp! Imp! Oh, no! He sucks! Oh, let's, uh... Let's destroy the Imp. Oh, you poor bastard. He's just gonna summon Imp. And fucking clock out. <laughs> no. Well, he's ranched to now. Alone. Paralyzed. Weak to not ice. Not even his friend. Weak to ice. Maybe not. Maybe the, the arrow just did inordinately large amounts of damage. It didn't I can't crit. believe Rosa is our mainline damage dealer now. What it's the like hell? randomly doing a billion damage for no reason. Remember when Cecil was good at everything? Level where her multiplier ticked over or something. You can check. It's true. All right. Time six. Ten. Six X. 
6x97 and 6x48. Yeah. So if they were like Fire we Ice Week and also... No, Ice Week means that they should take the same amount of damage as they would from Cecil. I don't know. Yeah, or Dragoon was... Uh, uh, Tang was using the Ice Lance. So no. They're... Wait. Why? Oh, wait, wait, I know what it is. I know what it is. Let's go, go back to the status screen. For Rosa, where it says, you know, attack percent 83, mm -hmm. that's effectively 100. She's getting all of her hits because you're aiming. Ooh. I think that's how that, that's going. 89, yeah. Mm -hmm. If it critted, you would see, like, the screen flash, right? Yeah. yeah criticals have a, a screen flash effect. Oh, you can and I see believe the... any weapon can critical. You can see the chest underneath us. Hmm. I think in... Can we just walk to the to the left through that whole thing? Yeah. There's some like funky transparency going on. Yeah. Parallax. All right, we'll see what this All one right. does. Who, who are you gonna summon, buddy? All in on the imp. What a joke. Let's give Ray some more opportunity to do a million damage. Yeah, Conjurer is no smoke. You know, a ton of damage. With punching. Yeah, why is he summoning imps when he is, like, many times more powerful than it? It's like, he, he's not summoning something to fight for him. He's summoning his, like, uh, pet. <laughs> it's uh, like, here. This is, this is watch my... me murder them. And so we killed two imps this day. I'm, I'm confident that he can summon more powerful monsters than imps, but perhaps not on this floor. I'm gonna pop him one just to... Uh... Oh! Clapper. You got the clapper! Let me just go ahead and virus that. Blitz! Yeah, do you want to? How many? How many? How many uh, clappers do you want to fight? I don't know. They're kind of cool, and you can see the usefulness of having a, an instant murder on them. They also are pretty dang tough. Got a lot of health. Yeah. I'm... Wow. What a monster. Down here. All right. Good. Although I have to wait. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> that thing is still yeah. standing. <laughs> Not for long. I didn't work. <gasps> I want to try it again. Oh my god. I'm gonna be honest, I never, uh, I never did this method in this fight, so I don't actually know what's happening. The smoke doesn't come out. It just does nothing. Shit. At least the oh clapper isn't very dangerous, it's just very tough. Oh, right, he has the mute knife. He, he has bonus damage against wizards. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> that encounter is completely terrible now. Um, sorry I suggested that you fight it. I mean, you didn't know. <laughs> I if didn't. That, I, if that did explored. work, it would be great. But uh, it didn't work. So it was uh, I'm, hard. I'm astonished. Like, what, what happened? It's got to be like I mean, mold, I don't know how the, right? the thing... In the first, place. yeah, it's like an enemy, probably. like a specific enemy mold, or like the background that it happens with in the other place has the right sprites to cause that sprite to be called from memory. 
There's any number of reasons why it would or yeah. would not. Because what has to be it happening... It might be like a number of hour free inventory slots or... It, who the hell knows. Like, it's got to be something along the lines of when you use the item, it attempts to call an address. Okay, now we just know to murder Conjurer. <laughs> um, okay, this imp is fine. But, uh... But, uh, like, when you use the item, it tries to cast a spell by referencing an address, and the reference gets scoofed up when you steal for some reason. Okay, it looks like we might have had multiple paths to go, and I just kind of chose this one. And maybe illusory, kind of, like, the yeah. way this dungeon is put together. I'd be happy if that were the case. Hey, Conjurer. Now you summon Rock Moss. Oh, Rock Moss. Let's see how they do against Ice Arrows. Oh, you might be hitting a flying weakness, or not. Took a lot of damage from spears. Maybe spears hit flying weakness. I think jump does. Treasure. There's a cure two for the pile. Like if I had saw this in like 1992, this would have well, I would have been one year old. But if uh, I had seen this when I was a kid, it would have blown my mind. I know, right? Ah, oh, you're seeing through to the lower level. So cool. Huge Naga! Huge Naga. <laughs> I like a conjurer <laughs> with a red dress and a huge Naga. Okay, Huge Naga can at least fight. And become paralyzed. And we have so much good equipment. I wonder, so nice. Cecil's the only one that feels like he's lagging behind. I mean, we could we could let him go berserk. You know, he's not doing anything else in this dungeon, so sure. I'm sure I will live to regret this. But I love regret. Yes. One moment. So how's everybody doing in the zoo tonight? Now that I have you to myself. I realize there's some lag time between asking that question and getting an answer. Myself, I'm having a fine old time. I have to go to the office. Okay, there we go. I just had to open a window. I have an itch on the end of my nose that is being awful. Yeah, small floor. Of course. Hooligan! Uh, hooligan! Uh, oh, you're just dead, hooligan. Okay. I only finished Transistor. That's a game I've owned for like ever and I've never even installed. It's the follow up to Bastion. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait. I mean, I watched someone play that and I was constantly baffled. Like, I did not know what was happening. And it's like, whoa, what the hell? So what are these damage floors, do you think? They're orange, which would kind of hint at lava, but... I always He's... thought of them as lava or fire, but, you know, who knows? Doesn't make any sense, because with this honeycomb pattern, there's a lot of surface area. 
Which meant but that... they are glowing, right? Like... Yeah, but it means over time they would have uh, cooled. Unless okay, okay. Unless what it's magma like... hot in here, in which case, how are we what, alive? What if it's the blood of the earth? It could all. Mm, I know about the black blood of the earth, and that's oh. black. No, no, go to the left. You should be able to like just walk through that wall. I know, Arachnia. Yeah, I guessed the name right. Her sprite looks kind of weirdly compressed. Oh, fuck. I'm floating. Aha, right. but we're floating. <laughs> oh, now I can see it. I didn't see it. At... No, but oh, we can only teaser. move half into it. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a pawn. Okay, so we have to actually go all the way to the right and then around. The black blood of the earth is black. It's the red blood of the earth. It might be different. I'm not a zoologist, so don't ask me. Poison! Poison axe, ninja sword, and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, how good is poison axe? Claims to be better. Is this two-handed? It is. We'll okay. try that. Okay. We'll compare ninja to... Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, would yeah, you rather throw can... a boomerang left-handed or right-handed? I, I don't know how I would do it if I were ambidextrous. Mm. Yeah, that saying? does, like, cut our damage specifically against wizards. Yeah, that's fair. And that's valuable in this dungeon specifically. I can always swap it out later. It's only a five point loss of damage otherwise. Mm. Of course, as soon as I say that, we fight two non wizards. Pretty rude of them to, like, just come out the gates with Quake, but considering you're probably going to float, this is a valuable teaching lesson. Yeah. They're weak to ice, it appears. Poison! Wait. <laughs> If there's lots of ice weak monsters here, I'm probably just going to put the ice sword back on. Yeah. Yeah, weak to ice. And yeah, the triple wheel. No, you. You juggle. I see. Combat juggling. Cecil, cut your damage in like half. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there is other treasure here, so I'm not quite yet done. I do love treasure. Oh no, red eye. Red eye. That's right. Are they weak to it's fire? Morning shot of espresso. Not weak to ice. Oh, should I ca should I call Titan? It would be a waste of MP. Now, since they have one big eye, they should be weak to arrows. Missed. Got your proto Sildra. What was that card in Theros Limited, the old one, that was like... Was it target creature can't block or destroy target Cyclops, or was it deal one damage or destroy target Cyclops? I don't remember destroy target Cyclops. Oh, man. There was. It was like a... That must have been... Like a follow-up Theros. Uh, learn Drain. That's a good spell. Often. Mm, I can cast Sight! I can't. Unfortunately, we cannot zoom out in dungeons. That would be kind of cool. It'd be like the, uh... Ooh, there's a teleportal over here. Should I go down the stairs or into the teleportal? Will the I teleportal think there's a treasure chest for us to get first. 
teleportal feels like... Yeah, there is a treasure chest, but the teleportal kind of feels like it would take me back to the entrance. I don't know if that's true. I think that one will actually take us further down. Ooh. Eye gouge from Born of the Gods. Eye gouge. Interesting. Uh, what was the effect of the card, though? I know Destroy Target Cyclops was on it. If there were just like a lot of red creatures were just incidentally cyclopses. That's pretty rude. Love to see the big numbers pop out of our opponents. I do love it. I love the way they bounce into place. I know I've said that before, but Black mana, minus one, minus one, or kill Cyclops. Yeah. Smoke! We got smoke. It's the same thing that smoke does in FF5. Only well, I assume it's a ninja spell. Whether or it not is. it costs MP or not, I do not know. It does. Now here's that ninja MP pool. Need a job. 10 MP to run away. That makes it not very unique because I can already do that with like exit. Dude, crit and silenced. This, this is kind of Try the fight. Quake now. Yeah. This is the freest fight in the world because they only ever cast Quake, I think. Yeah, and they're weak to ice, and I have lots of ice equipment. Get him. Experience isn't that much, but it's free. <laughs> okay, this is getting a bit much. Like, come on. One one step, another encounter. Yeah, I can't go up there, there's like a line. Oh. <laughs> that was a illusion. Yeah. Got the trick. Oh no! Warrior! Warriors! Oh shit, what are we gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna cast some spells. You cast Siva, actually. Oh, you could, you could peep on them, of course. I could, I could peep. Do I have any ninja maneuvers? That would be good. Blood, probably. Rosa is also like our toughest character. What the heck? It's it's opposite day. So the warriors appear to be just strong men. We have Elf Shiva. Yeah, Shiva was okay. Yeah, that's you know that's gonna slow him down. Came right out the gate. Five warriors just screaming at them. There are dark mirrors. The five warriors of warrior. Actually, let that resolve. There we go. Let's toss out one of these. Appropriate for a chest encounter. I should they should be weakened enough that I can just drop them down by just attacking. Where did he cast absorb on? I no, think that's, it... that's just a monster move that he self heals. That's all. Actually, life is like a cheap spell, I should just cast it. I wasn't using heals because uh, heal costs 20 MP. Great. Defense. 
That's right. The Defender Fancy new sword. sword. Defender is usually pretty good. Yeah, seems fairly good. I, w I needed that. Cecil needed a good sword. Uh, yeah. Okay, so portal pad or stairs down? Let's do the portal pad. Oh, you're free. I should just fight you. And I can do one thing. Well, I want to see how much, how long this takes to cast. Ooh, good damage out of the out of the defender. How much damage do I get out of Drain, and how long does it take to cast? Not that, it's pretty quick cast. But pretty sucky. <gasps> oh no. She did something other than Quake. Yeah, she attacked. I, I've never seen that. <laughs> That's her desperation move, is she can basic attack. Hmm. How scary would that be? Like a monster whose desperation move was attack. They did all sorts of like. I think it kind of depends, right? Yeah. Like, are we talking muscle wizard? Because yeah, something like that. Where it's like you, <laughs> you fight a monster that's very weak, and they come into the groups, and they mostly do like debuff stuff, and then you finally get it to one, and then he like rips off his shirt and starts right. pounding you. Right, and like all of the like other times that he was just skipping turns, he just takes that action now. Yeah. Ooh. So, uh, that's a Bravely Default monster, but what's, what, okay, stairs or a portal? I want to go in the portal. I'm pretty sure that it leads down here, because, yeah. Hmm. Thanks for the ether. First humans other than Lydia, so you're saying we're the second through fifth humans here. Oh, this one is for yeah, up. We are the monsters, and this is our world. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, I like it. Okay. Yeah. There was so that This chest. one has, has secrets. No, 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 go, you have to go up. Yeah, you felt and like there's it... another teleporter pad. And what you have to do is, it, like that one, the up one. Yeah. It, it, what you have to do is walk on it, and then immediately walk on it again, and then you'll be like over top of it, so that you can walk downward to get the chest. It's it's silly, but this is what passes for a puzzle in this game. I saw a chocobo. You can summon chocobo. Rat tail. Very important item. Is this the first rat tail game? Or a game with a rat tail in it? Nope. Final Fantasy 1 had the rat tail. You presented it to Bahamut. As I, proof of your courage. I, I remember the proof of courage part, but I don't remember... I didn't remember it being Okay, one other, one other little thing. There should be an S in one of these uh, doors. I do like cool S. Yeah, there we go. Special field that lets you use a tent or cabin. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to save here because there's some uh, there's some co cool stuff to explore. Let me sleep in your bed. I don't want to pay for the monster in. They'll know we're townies and we'll, they'll overcharge. What does Boko have for sale? Yeah, let's... Here's one thing to check. Okay, a cabin is a thousand. It's cheaper <laughs> to buy a cabin. <laughs> oh my god. You're right, they totally overcharge. The, the bespoke experience. Mm. 
teaching you about using uh, Float and Titan. Okay, so before we go further in, I actually want to go up a level. Yeah. Back where we came from, kind of. I'm just using... You can use... I'm yeah, going to use a tent. That should top us off. Get some MP back. I need a, I have these tents, and I they're only going to get worse from here on out. May as well use them. Yeah, that was fine. The game where tents are the weirdest is in... Hmm. Should I go back through the portal? Yes. Uh, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could throw tents in nine. That was some wacky stuff. Like, why do tents make monsters confused? I am, I am the one who's confused. So, uh, down here somewhere? Okay. Oh. Yes. We, so, you know where that from? purple guy is? Yeah. Can you see how the, like, one tile looks slightly different? Yeah. Hmm. Secret portal to treasure. Samurai. Sorry, I elf bow. Samurai bow. Yeah. Sorry, elf bow. You didn't get to be good very long. But, uh, what's a, a Yomi. That's what a, what a Japanese bow is called. They're very unusual, as far as bows in the world are, because they're longer on the top than they are on the bottom. The top branch is, like, half again the size of the bottom branch. It doesn't affect them at all. Well, Yari is a spear. This world is ruled by the Master of Monsters, and we have a queen named Asura. Mm. Yeah. Buy bomb armor. I don't like humans walking around this place, Lydia. <laughs> they don't see her as a monster anymore. I could buy Aegis and Sorcerer. Indeed. That's a lot of money. It's like 20 and 30,000. I probably won't be able to kit out everybody. Maybe like one Aegis, two Sorcerer. Like we have 169,000. And we'll clean out some of our inventory as well. Does Aegis do what I think it does? Sadly no. I think it's just numbers in this game. Uh. squishy people sorcerer although really maybe you need it I don't think you can equip sorcerer I uh, can't yes it would just be uh and diamond is probably better okay so let's sell a lot of garbage yeah, the Escher is Wrath. Yeah. Okay. So we can sell black. You. 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 Hmm. I already have the anti ogre weapons in the. Form yeah, we're, of, uh, we're done with ogre axe, I think. Yeah. Probably don't want poison axe either, considering it's like. two handed. We now have more money than we started with. Should I just sell samurai arrows? They're probably just like damaging. Nah, 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 nah. We're, we like those actually. I forget which enemy there is, but there's an enemy that you can steal like samurai arrows from, and they're actually quite good. I might not ever the charm, but I can't use Confuse otherwise, I don't think. So they have an armorer, do they have a weaponsmith? They do. Show me your finest weapons. 
the Blitz Whip and Long and Lunar. I honestly don't think we want any of these. Like, I'm pretty sure that Ninja Sword is better than Long Sword. I mean, maybe you want, like, Blitz Whip or something, but I don't know. How often is she attacking, you know? Yeah, really, it's just for the Paralyzed chance. Lunar. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we need any of that. Can you, you, yeah, we can use the weapons, okay. Mm. Okay. Let's go up and left. It's antithetical to where you go in video games, but sure. Oh, so we're re So the the portals just lead yeah. to a town, it appears. Unless there's something in here. It's the this library. Is the library. He's got a little naming way in here. Mm -hmm. The art of summoning. Titan, the king of the giants. Mm. The burning master. Secret summons. Chocobo is the best of the summoned monsters as far as quickness of flight and cuteness. Countless, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, there's 11 bookcases down here. So, if you want some optional boss fights, uh, we can save and then, uh, and then take them on. So, there's 240 books in the library. That, uh, that doesn't seem countless to me, because I, uh, I counted it. Gotcha, gotcha. Maybe they can't count that high. The Chocobo probably wrote that entry. When did they establish the Chocobo stink? I want to know that. I don't know. I think it might have been this one because you have King Chocobo. They have a they say a weird smell. It smells like Chocobos. Hello. Okay. Do you have enough courage and power to challenge? Absolutely. So here you go. That's her, uh, zero. Yeah, cure four is uh, cure for all of your missing health. I have an idea. Do you now? It might I'll be an obvious one. one. I have the head the head changes when you hit it. Okay, I want to do this. I accomplished nothing. Except there I go. Uh, my my idea is this. There we go. Ah, you've done it. Is that, is that the puzzle of this fight? That's that's pretty much the puzzle, yeah. Sadly, even if you have a person down, the reflected life will not revive someone. You're, you're kind of... you don't have anything you can do. Calling will still work. Oh, calling will still work. Alright. Yeah. My other idea would be to just put a wall on one of my people. We do the old... Oh, yeah. Do the old... Switch over Classic so. reflect battle. Yeah. Okay, they're not healing Tane.
I'm surprised we never got anything like the like protect in this game. The protect shell. Yeah, we we really have nothing like that. Ah, thanks. Oh, Let me send me some mixed messages here. <laughs> oh uh. my god. don't know if she counts as floating. Yeah, we'll find out in a bit. Okay, they're not, uh, they're not... Actually... I'm gonna do that. You won't hurt, uh, Edge, will you? Not floating. Splat. So I don't actually know how long wall lasts. I know it's not forever. It's uh my uh I got my injured person. Nice. Yeah, I'll see I guess if... we we do get to learn how long it lasts. I guess I guess I can reapply a wall. Or see if that works. It's lasting basically forever. We'll see if it persists. That's kind of wild. Oh, okay. Oh, off she goes. And we got... Can we summon... Yeah, we can summon Ashura now. So, she's kind of a terrible summon. Um, she either casts... Don't talk to her. Oh, oh, wait, he, he, he gives you the, the yes no prompt. Yeah, let's go. Let's go eat a tent, some tents. Right. So she's a terrible summon. Yeah, so she'll either do, like, a big, uh, a big cure, a big life, or, um, I think, remedy? But you don't choose. <laughs> like, she decides what you need, so, like... Anytime it would be useful, there's probably a better way to, to do it. And there's a two in three chance that you don't get what you need. Yeah, that sounds so good to me. In uh one moment. Yeah, there we go. In uh in Sekiro, when they talk about the Shura, that 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 is just the same word as As Asura. Just hmm. spelled differently. They refer to the same entity. Okay, two tents basically got us what we wanted. We were very tired. <laughs> Just keep sleeping it off. Eat the other tent. Because why else would you be able to not reuse them? It's the new, uh... I, I still feel like you're, you're just despoiling it so badly that it's like, oh man, that's not worth cleaning. I think eating it is how you're despoiling it. Right. Despite this so, guy, this Leviathan. It's uh, it's Leviathan. Um, Leviathan looks weird. Ah! Big wave. Big wave. Capital B, capital W, big wave. Oh. 
It looks like a fox. Wonder if I should try s stealing. I have no idea what like rare steals are like in this game. Ah, thanks for the reset, Burnhead. I'm astonished at how tame the big wave was. Like, <laughs> just sort of like took it. And it's like, ah, eh, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try drain. Well, if, it, if it's gonna be, you should probably have the drain spear instead of the drain sword if it's if it's cane. Oh, but... I didn't even know. I didn't think he could equip swords. He can. Well. <laughs> Flips over. I have all these cool summons, but I'm just using virus. That will suck. So I should just target one person. Was the drain sword. I didn't think he could equip swords. Oh, there we go. He totally can. It's just usually when you have any, when you have him, the, the dungeon will give you both a spear and a sword, and it's obvious you get switched. But... I really can't believe we're here, but this, this might be the use case for uh, Asura. Mm. Try sneaking from him. Eh, I got caught. Now well, Lydia might be dead here, so let's make sure. Oh, she just casts it. Okay, so that one was the life. Oh, we could do this. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, whatever. I have to take my shield off. Let's make sure Lydia survives. Sneak. Yeah, I didn't get caught that time, but failed. This is something I feel like I should look up. Let me do that. Hello. Try Final out Indra. Four. Let's see. Oh, he's theory. Fish probably not weak to lightning, but I'm still Oh boy. Would you like to know his stealable item? I would. It's a cure one potion. That's that's typical actually. I'm trying to find you some good steals. Jeez, just about everything has potion as its stealable item. This this sucks. That that sounds about typical to me. Well, we're chewing through his health. I think uh, so long as the Cure Threes hold, we will win. Ooh, there is a temptation. Apparently, Egg has Elixir Ooh. as its steal. 
So a little bit of egg. Tasty egg. One thing I should try at some point is see if the old four, five wall self all cast works in this game. You know, the, the anti Omega method. Yeah, yeah. Seems like it would take forever to set up. This guy certainly has a lot of health. Okay, well, I'm done reading that list of things, and I'm displeased to say that there's basically no good steals in the entire game, other than the, like, nonsense that I talked about and, and demonstrated. I, I could burst one of my own party members. I could also do. I could burst two of them very quickly by giving uh, Cecil the Avenger. Which I probably should do at this point now that I've stabilized. Although he's getting faster. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, I still have the mute knife on Edge. I could give him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Woof. Got through it. No levels. It sure is the power of light. I, the master of the summoned <laughs> monsters, will be on, will be your help from now on. He will be our help. How nice. Levia. We learn. Levia. 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 Lydia. Levia. So that's it. That's that's all I wanted. We upgraded Lydia. Leviathan is usually the second best summon in the game. Got some cool stuff. We can do water damage now. I think we could actually cast Exit also, because I don't think there's anything more here to do. You can see the like lower level, but that's just the, the teaser of the, that secret treasure that I already showed you. It just doesn't update that the treasures are open. Away! Sound the alarm, and off you go. Now, should we go deeper into the dungeon? Or was the forked pass? Nah, that's fine. I, I think we got everything from there that, that we can. Ah, I see. We should... We should go to... A third dungeon. I do love dungeons. <laughs> I literally do, though. I'm just eating my tents. So I don't have them anymore. Yeah, but doing those two first actually sets us up pretty well for the next one, which is the actual dungeon that we were supposed to be doing the whole time. However, it's uh, troublesome. I do love trouble. What level was Edge when we got him? Level 25 or something? I'm just catching up. Let's look at our peoples. Ooh, we're up to times seven. Ninety-nine percent. Dang. Quite accurate. Okay. I should, now that I remember, take off the mute, give you the full moon. Okay, now we gotta go to the dungeon, which they said was... No, north and west was this one. Mm, yeah, so the... Basically go to Tamra. That's like the secret village, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and it's, it's right next to it. Ah, there we go. It's, it's surrounded. You can only get to it by, by air. Uh, by underground air. By under air. The sealed cave. Yeah, this is what my mom always told me. Always, uh. Have oh, the we key. don't have the key? Oh, we gotta get the key. Whoops. Always have clean under air. So, uh, does the dwarf have the key? I thought the dwarf gave us yeah, the key. I, I thought he gave us the key also. What the heck? Did we die? <laughs> Oh, 
Let's go talk to the king. Let's see yeah, if he'll, we, he'll uh... probably straighten this out. Yeah, we've done ah, this cutscene okay. before, I'm pretty sure. We, we had to have died. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Okay. Well, now we got it. Yeah. Maybe we just didn't. Maybe we fucked off into dungeons for three hours, four <laughs> hours, and forgot. <laughs> Uh, it's easy to imagine. Okay. Alright, alright. Well, this Ow. time we definitely have the keys. We certainly have a key. Save again, once again. I love saving. But I only use one save slot in this game. I don't know why. We'll use Rosa for a while, too. We've been Lydia since we got her. Rose has got the side ponytail. I barely noticed. Yeah, sadly we cannot like jigger open the lock, the lock with a, a rat tail. Okay. Although I'm pretty sure I could do that in real life if it was a rat tail file, you know, depending mm. on the lock. Mm -hmm. Although files are pretty brittle because they're yeah, gotta be pretty kinda hard. Careful. But yeah, they're, they're extremely hard, which is what makes them more brittle. Than... Yeah, they're a lot of uh, case-hardened. I like so, case-hardening. Life. This, uh, this dungeon has a gimmick. Ropes. Trapdoors. I know the door. It's trapdoor. It's spooky time. Look search. at this guy. Oh, man. Oh, he's going to search. His next move is going to be to murder the person that he just searched on. Not if I have anything to say about it. Just run. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't have anything to say about it. Uh, so yeah, that's the spooky door. They're wonderful. I like that a lot. It's possible to get through the entire dungeon without opening all of them. However, I have never, and I don't know why, I have never been able to beat the boss of this dungeon if I didn't do all the trapdoors. Why? I don't know. So I have, I have a superstition about it that the, the final boss of this dungeon is unbeatable unless you defeated the trapdoors. So how would you get by here without defeating that trapdoor? Or do, is there... Do you have I mean, one a lot you of can them are skip? Just optional. Okay, we'll try to skip one of them and see what we can do. Ah, uh, here's Huge Naga. I forgot to heal Cecil. Alas. Alas. You're not with a virus. Ugh. I'll give you a name now. Yeah, where's the medium Naga? It might, like, secretly be more powerful. Mm. So it's in a later dungeon, maybe? Mm. Yeah, like, a lot of them are just on, like, pods like this. So it's gotta have treasure behind it, though. Treasure. I want treasure. Okay, I wanted to... Lock on to Tame. Okay, no, this is all he says to Cecil. What if I do this? Oh, <laughs> you're not gonna let me. <laughs> My plan was going to be to murder Cecil. Hmm. <laughs> Can't kill me if I'm already dead, sucker. But as, as far as I can tell, I, I mean, I don't think that my idiotic belief is based in any kind of reality, but I think that it's just these monster encounters happen to get a lot of experience, so if I did all of them, then I was better off. Oh. Okay. 
cast Blaze. Eh. I think they resist ice. Yeah, they clearly do. Alright, time to, time to change weapons. Although, uh, that's a bit of a problem. I do not have a better spear. Oh, Perhaps... Drain Spear is a fine spear. That's the Diamond Shield. We'll use Poison. Yeah, love, that'll show him. We love poison. Man, I wish poison were good in this game. I wish poison was good in every game that it's in. I love poison. I think that any game that's dedicated to poison should have multiple kinds. Are you quoting Mark Bruce No, not that kind of poison. <laughs> that just sucks. So my prize was a cure to. Some huge now, I guess. Although, if I'm drain spearing, I should. I'm sure, I'll ball cast this. I should jump. Okay. Nagas are okay. What kind of experience am I looking for? 10,000 to level up. 16. 95. Mm. So that's the way on. So you see there, there are actually like a lot of optional doors. Screamer. Oh, Screamer. Hmm. I'm kind of incentivized to go into doors until one of them gives me a spear. Okay. I can see that. Is that a realistic expectation? I don't remember. Well, yeah, I, I remember guess... liking the drain spear so much that I just used it. <laughs> Cecil Trapdoor. Yeah, come on. Jump. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No! No. Not quick enough. It makes me think it's a part of the same action. So weirdly enough, I think that the search action is reflectable. Okay. I don't know how you would get it off fast enough, but... Maybe that's just a lie that I consumed a long time ago and never tested. It is, uh, it's true in Final Fantasy V. Oh! You got him before he, he summoned. Nice. ba 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 -da. <laughs> Ah, I love him. Okay, this one will be, this one will be better. I want to get it off in time. Dang it. Just gonna try to cover him. Yeah, I don't think cover is gonna um, get in the way of anything but physical attacks. Yeah, I don't think it would either, but I would. The only way to try it is to, like, uh. The only way to find out is to do it, you know? Or to fail to do it. Tain is being really slow. I'm just kind of killing them. No treasure. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I hear heard that, uh, of all things, Worms Armageddon got an update. I've not ever been a big wormser, but I've always appreciated it from afar. I used to, but then I had kind of I felt like I had done everything already, and it, like battles got really samey. 
Hello, vamp lady. It's vamp lady. She's, she's attached to the ceiling. So she's not floating. Because she, not everybody's doing the wavy thing. I don't know if Earthquake would still work. These monsters are very weak. So I'm probably going to deny Tain his drink. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, undead! <laughs> uh, Vampire Lady yeah. is undead. Vamp Lady is undead. Okay. Sorry about that. Why didn't you tell me? You betrayed me! I, I should have warned you. I'm fed up with this world! Man, I could go for being fed. I don't know about fed up. Uh, you're learning new things about you, Kaz. All the learning new things, uh, that weird cake I made has gotten better with age, which is true of most cakes. Oh. It, it's retained a lot of its moisture for how low its oil content was. Mm. No, don't attack her. Stop the train spear quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Made it out. It, it saved me. I was thinking. I was talking about my weird cake. Which <laughs> it uh, it's remained very dense. I, I like it as a cake goes. I probably could have put more vanilla in it. That'd have been fine. Um. What if I just ignore Rosa being dead? She just doesn't get experience this time. That's probably fine. Do you get more experience if there's fewer people in this game? Yes. And I don't feel bad about it. It'll be somebody else's turn the next time there's a door. It must just be that they get a ton of experience. I that's that's just the the reason. If I went here without beating up all the doors, I was definitely underleveled and got crushed by the boss. Not you that know, bad. I thought I was being clever and pulling one over on the game by remembering how many of them had, like, nothing behind them, but nope. Nope, I needed the EXP. to bed. I guess I'll... I'll belife you. Yeah, it worms. Like, it's, it's wild to me that, like, a 21-year-old game just gets a patch. <laughs> no, yeah. We've been working on this. Okay, it appears as though the virus is instrumental to killing in time. Hmm... So I shouldn't have Lydia be my wake-up girl. Oh, treasure. Whoa! A light! You're giving us lots of swords. That one is a knight sword, so only Cecil can use it. Is it good against undead? Yeah. Uh, yes. I imagined that was the case. That must be one of the reasons why, like, Dragon Warrior and Final Fantasy are so popular. Or at least gained so much popularity. It's because... You play one, you play a couple, you start to understand them. Because they keep reusing some of the same shit. Mm. Yeah, after a point, you're just sort of like, oh yeah, I get it. And it makes, Which it, makes, me it, makes wonder... it comfortable, you know? Like, right. like fast food. It, it kind of makes me wonder, what if, like, what would a, a JRPG look like from, like, a, a branched evolution? Ooh. I think this is called I mean, mystery. I think the answer is Saga, but... Yeah, like Saga or, like, Thunder! Okay, 
Yellow D is so intimidating looking. I, I love it. Learn to cure oh, you four. Got cure four. You have the good one now. You got the old Kirasha. Yeah, I think it would have to be like the Saga games, which is like literally Final Fantasy splintered off into a different, weirder thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other one, you go back farther, is Wizardry, where. Ugh. Like, uh. <laughs> JRPGs on another path become like wizardry. How much does Cure Four cost? A lot. Yeah, they um. I mean, it is a full heal. It isn't a full heal if you split it, but it's still a very big heal. Got the global RPG fork. Hmm. A box. Nothing. I'm betrayed. New treasure chests, and he immediately goes for the, like the box. The box was nearby <laughs> and also suspicious. I wanted it to be a box with treasure. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're still making wizardry games. Those games are popular oh, in Japan Lord. for some reason, even though they're by and large very terrible. So I just want to make sure. In case you hadn't figured out the gimmick of the dungeon, I will I will answer any questions that you have about it. Okay. The 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 gimmick of the dungeon is they put strong monsters that sometimes have powerful or good items behind them and are often are empty. Which means I have to check all of them, Cass. <laughs> That's how, uh... That's how, that's how gambling works. That is pretty much how gambling works. They call it an intermittent reinforcement schedule. Yeah. No, what is it? A variable ratio? Or... It's something like that. It's, it's, the, it's the loot crate. It's loot crate. It is annoying when they go after. Oh, you're out of you're out of MP. Variable interval rate. So our powers combined. Be interval that close. is like. <laughs> I'm. Yeah, with our powers combined, uh, someone who knew the answer told us. <laughs> that's that's the power of, of Twitch chat. <laughs> oh mercy. Plus we're getting levels, which means I can run away from monsters more aggressively. I hope you like fighting trapdoors, because that's what we got. Oh, when did that happen? I guess I cast like 10 viruses. <laughs> yeah, let's see, 39 different spin-offs for wizardry. That's too many. That's too many video games. I can't. I can't play that many video games. Ah, uh, Trapdoor has one MP. Thanks, Trapdoor. It, it might be. A, it might be a matter of his. Um, well, he's casting like, search again. Uh, whatever the hell that was, I didn't like it. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> right, you your cool S. Right when I needed it, they gave me the cool S. You're at, you're at the end of your rope. <laughs> it's like I've bottomed out on MP. I'm like, okay, cool. This is also highly convenient because uh, we're at two hours. This is a fine, fine place to call it. Oh, I'm gonna stop halfway through the dungeon. But by the next, by next week, we'll have forgotten the gimmick. The next. <laughs> I think I might be able to piece it together, Cass. <laughs> together, if we work together, we might be able to Dude. remember the gimmick of the dungeon. Bash our heads together and then answers will come out. Uh, well, you'll, you'll have to do a lot of bashing yourself. Mm. I'll get my ceremonial head. It'll be fine. <laughs> so, uh, uh, okay. so what did we what did we learn today, know, Cass? You, you mail me, mail me your head, and then I can do it. Ah, yeah. Definitely do then, that. then we can actually do, bash our heads. Do you want the one what made out of done? plastic, or the one made out of glass, or the one made out of shittier oh, plastic? 
Oh jeez. Um, I guess surprise me. I'll I'll figure out the bashing <laughs> on my own schedule. Well, I, well no, I. Hmm, maybe if I focus enough energy into my crystal head vodka bottle, it'll transmit to your crystal head vodka. Oh bottle. yeah, then we'll get the. <laughs> yeah. The, the resonance, like in that Indiana Jones movie. Yeah. Uh, underwritten by what's his George name? Lucas. Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd, yes. <laughs> he definitely believes in the power of crystal skulls. I, I do too. Because crystal skull yeah. vodka is good vodka. It's really good. <laughs> it is pretty damn good. I wish I could get it, like, not in the novelty container. <laughs> I mean, that's half the appeal, though, right? It drives up the cost. It is, but, but I, already, I already have one, so I don't really need another. Well, you, could, you don't need another, but you could use them. <laughs> Anyways, we're talking about Crystal Skull Vodka Residence. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks for the subs, everybody. We're going to toss it on over to Jens to Xena Blade. Thanks for joining, Kaz. Nice. Yeah. Always, always. Love to do this. That's going to be it for tonight. Good night, everybody.